Okay, so in a previous video, I asked all of you to tell me what to build. And many, many, many of you told me what to build. Over 1,000 comments in the first two hours. That's a pretty good turnout. Very much appreciated. Appreciate all of the, the energy and enthusiasm behind that. And, uh, well, let's... I'm going to start sorting out some of the pieces, and I'll tell you how and why I'm sorting them out in a minute. And uh, let's talk about the results and what I will actually be attempting to build here today. A lot of the early comments suggested that I build a colorful parrot, or a car, or a robot. I thought, okay, those are cool. Why do they sound familiar to me? I caught on. Ah, oh, those are Lego suggestions. I asked for your suggestions. I want to hear what you think, your ideas. Okay, let's put those aside for a second. How about uh, Skyline, City Skyline. A lot of you asked for or suggested a City Skyline. That's, that's a good idea for something to do with a large group of fairly random parts because you know you can make a lot of small things that make sense in scale when you're doing a, a skyline just have different colored buildings and such other things that came up a lot included um, houses uh, a handful about boats um, one that caught my eye a lot was the idea of doing a mech not not like a robot but an actual mech suit that a figure would fit in. I really like that idea. A number of you asked for that. I'm actually gonna try that one because this set does come with parts for a minifig. So, why not? We've got a bunch of, of uh, you know, ball joint. I thought there were, yeah, I thought there were some other hinge type pieces or pieces that could be used for hinging that are in here as well. And I've never done a mech for minifigs. And I need to. I need to change that. I need to actually make some. I need to get some practice with that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make a mech for a minifig made with those pieces. And the first step for me is something that folks often ask for. How do you build a custom build? Not how do you put piece A onto piece B, but how do you approach the project? How do you even go from from nothing to starting? How do you even begin a build? So I'll be able to show you one answer to that in this video here. Oh, uh, before I go any farther, no live stream. I'm not live streaming this and I'm not going to live stream videos like this in the future. So that's just period. No, no debate about that from me. I uh, just wanted to make that very clear up front. But there are many answers to how to approach a, a new custom build. And the, the answer just varies by circumstances. So here the circumstances are that I have this set number of pieces. So my first step is to sort them out. I'm sorting, trying to sort them out by type and I'll, I'll show you what the, the piles really are in a minute. You know, figure out what I have, and then from there I can start to figure out what I think I can do. Just estimating based on the volume of stuff and the number of things that are that are available. But sometimes I'll just be going through my parts collection, maybe putting away some pieces from a bricklink order or something, and there will be a specific part that just inspires me. You know, it has a certain shape, and it just makes me think, oh, you know what? I want to make... You know, looking at this, what does it inspire me to do? I could make an, an igloo. I could make like a like a tunnel, like a play tunnel for, for kids to go through or maybe something for a dog show or something. You know, and something will just hit me. I'll just come to mind. And from there, I'll start looking for pieces to make that happen. But in this case, I have to start with the pieces that are available. And I'm actually this time going to not limit myself in colors. I like to build things color coordinated so that they look nice, but if you're limited with pieces, the total number of pieces, 
then sometimes it's good to just kind of let color go and allow yourself to make something that is colorful. Sometimes those can actually end up looking nicer than you might expect even. And that's what I'm going to end up doing here, but I don't expect it to turn out looking nicer than, than I expect. I think it's going to be a rainbow, random colored mech, if I'm even able to pull it off at all. We shall see. Uh, and that's something, that's another thing that I've not done, so that's another good challenge for me, is letting go of the idea of color coordination. And just building based on shapes. It's, it's how a lot of professional Lego designers and brick-based construction system designers actually work in the real world. You know, it takes a long time to find all the parts that you need, even when they're well sorted. Um, you know, in specific colors, and sometimes the colors that you want aren't even available. So oftentimes, you know, for new sets, new colors will be created for a piece. So designers will often just build these rainbow looking things that have very, very good structure, very, very good building techniques. But at first glance, they just look like random piles of pieces that were kind of glued together. And it's not until you start to really change out those pieces or alter your mind and your way of looking at it that you can start to see that, oh yeah, there's actually something really good under there. This variety of different types of pieces is much wider than I expected to. I had not looked at this carefully, which is which is good. It's both of those things are good. It's good that I didn't look at this too carefully to start to bias myself or subconsciously limit myself in my selection. But it's also good that it'll give me a lot of different possible shapes to work from. So I'm trying to put things that you know, the studs not on top, pieces here, tiles and jumpers here. That's cool that they introduced this in blue. And then some plates over here, uh, different types of plates. And then I'm going to have a big pile uh, of uh, slopes and curves. And then I'll have just the regular bricks. So let me start to separate out some of the just regular bricks. It's taking a little bit longer than I had hoped. But problem with trying to talk and work at the same time. One of them is going to, at least one of them is going to suffer, maybe both. That's just a regular plate. These curves, all right, so we'll start putting some of the curves and slopes together over here. That's going to be interesting. Probably be used for the torso, I'm expecting. Torso and feet. Maybe those longer ones will work on arms as well. Yeah, I'm really going to be fighting against a lot of my own preconceived notions and ideas of how to do things. Interesting challenge, interesting challenge. This goes over here. I think that's pretty new for, for the orange color, one of the less common ones. All right, I'm almost there. These will just go off to the side for now, kind of extra specialized pieces. There are my regular bricks, there are my slopes, and I'm just gonna put all these under tiles for now. I can use this too, it's a legitimate piece, why not? Okay, so that's what I have to work with. And now I'm terrified. <laughs> now what do I do? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is they put together the main pieces of a figure here to get an idea of size. Now I would like to incorporate those wheels too, I was thinking. Kind of get a little bit of the, the car in there as well. And it works for mech-like things, I figure. Alright, so that's the size of the figure. I'm really glad with, I'm really happy with the, the choices of colors for the figure. Just, you know, such a classic thing, you know, with the the red torso and classic smile. So these are going to be really important for me. For kind of the, the main skeleton. Because I do want this thing to articulate. But I'm also going to need to use some of this stuff just to fit around the, 
the shape of the figure. So I've got some bar pieces here, bar, 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 clips, less of those. These are going to be very, very valuable, these pieces up here in the corner. So crucial. I'm just thinking about the main, main structure. These I think are going to be useful too. I think maybe I get around the, the back of them like that. I don't know if I want this to actually hold on, you know, the figure to actually hold on to controls or not. Really limited with plates though. I was really hoping to get more. Maybe that'll give me some idea of scale I can build from here. I don't know if the head will be kind of the head of the figure will be inside of the thing or if it'll stick up, but perhaps this could be the, the height of the torso of the build. That would need to be attached on both sides. What do I have? So I've got these two bricks that have the studs on all sides. And then I've got a bunch of ones with studs on just one side. So I could I could build those up. I need to have some depth then. It would be nice to have the back shape like this, I think. Then I could always add other stuff onto it. But I'm kind of liking this idea as a starter, although these pieces might be extra useful for bulking up the sides. I like that color combination there too. Look at that. I'm just thinking of the side of the, of the mech. You know, there'll be other stuff in front of it, but if only I had more of these. Ah, and there I go. Limiting myself with color. Stop that. Stop <laughs> thinking about color. Good challenge. Good challenge. These I also have that shape to possibly go around the back, or I could use this at the base here and then have some things. Let's try this. I need to start somewhere. I'm going to try this. So that gives me room to have something clip onto the front that can come up in front of the figure and maybe I'll just build it up from there. The legs will attach from below. You know, these will be doing something like that with a little bit more space. I might still be able to use these around the sides or maybe around the back. Let's see, I've got those white ones as well that are a bit shorter. That yeah, might be a better Better set of proportions right there. Uh, what do I have for bricks? I don't have a lot for bricks. And so I'm just gonna build up, I'm gonna use some of this space right here, right now. Make some progress towards getting up to where the shoulders will be. I'll worry about connecting something to the back later or, or covering that up. But this is definitely already giving me some some inspiration, some good some good feels here. I'm thinking if I could have the shoulders around here, the shoulders around the around the height of the the head, around the middle of the head, that could be good. What else do I have? These come out. I wonder if that's even a good idea. I don't know if I want to use these pieces yet. They seem particularly valuable to me. These inverted slopes. I'm gonna try it just to get my building away from the hands, just in case I need the arms to kind of come in a bit and then you know, start to build around the space that the minifig needs. And then, you know, the back can be potentially covered up with something four studs wide or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then I will definitely need some some studs on the side pieces around that. All right, so we're moving in the right direction so far. I need to figure out what I want to do for the shoulders themselves. Like, how do I want to attach them? It's it's easy to just put a ball joint there. And that would go like this with the ball, with the ball on the, on the inner part. You know, obviously this is gonna go up a little bit higher. You know, that's a, that's a good start, but then I also have these. I don't know, I really like the idea of using the the ball joints there. I could also start from here. I 
feel like I want to use these smaller pieces out towards the ends. Like this would be used at an elbow or maybe even in hands. So I'm going to reserve this sort of technique for a little bit later in maybe hands or even feet. And I will go ahead and commit to using the ball joints now. I just need to build up a little bit more height and I'll put the, the ball joints on that. This may even come inward. Or I could use that to build out. Mm. Ah. That's a possibility. Locks that, that rear brick on there. Can deal with this later. And then these ball joints would go there. That's about the height that I want. It's farther back than I want, but I don't know. This might work. This might work. I could also, let's see, do we have any one by ones? Don't really have any one by one, just regular bricks, but I could also use one of these and then go here. Let me try that. Let me try that for now, because I do have four of these tan headlight style bricks. Yeah, I'll try that and that gives me some room to attach some things, maybe some detail on the front. It would be really cool to be able to pull a head over this as well. Yeah, I could use these for that. Just imagine that he has a, you know, some sort of visor system inside of there. So the, the, the operator would be completely enclosed or I could go around this way. Uh, I don't think so. All right, let me just uh, see what I can do here. Now, that is a problem of this coming off. It's a problem that, I'll, that I will likely have to deal with later. I might use some of these smaller, uh, smaller plate pieces for that. But I think this is this is the start, and then. Arms it tends to be best to attach to these surfaces, but I was kind of thinking of what if I built out like this way? Don't have that many of those pieces, but you know, what if the arm was built like that, just going upside down, and then at the end. Uh, I could maybe use these there for the for the elbows because this is able to also rotate out. That gives me more articulation. And then I could use the clip. Yeah, this is definitely going to need to be fixed, this issue. Uh, let me just temporarily put... Uh, hmm. What else do I have? Yeah, just just temporarily, just to hold this together for now. I'm gonna do that. That's not permanent, but just to help. So that could that could be an elbow there, and then I could use one of the clip style pieces. Would it, uh, I think yeah, I think I might even do this, and then go this way, this way. the elbow and then I mean other one by ones I'm kind of limited there but the other the other possibility is just to, to use some plates but I don't have that much in the way of plates I'm really limited with plates here this is a good shape to use for an arm so that being the case this type of clip instead. Experimentation is really important. I prefer the other one. But I prefer to have that on its side though. I prefer to have this this way. And hinge up and down. See that that looks better to me. I could do that. 
And there are a number of ways that that could be done. I mean, the simplest way would be just here. You know, just ideas. All right, so with that said, since I have so many options there and I'm not completely confident in it just yet, I'm gonna switch down to the legs because I need to be sure not to use up all of my important pieces, my most limited important pieces just yet. So legs, you know, we'd want to do like this, ideally. Let me create a little bit of space there. Hmm. If this is gonna stick out, then maybe this can kind of work with that shape. Smooth it in once I clip something onto this as well. So then these two go here and then for now I'll just close it up that's simple enough and I still have some extras of those all right so this is the base for the tops of the thighs and I'm liking this shape I'm liking this shape for the thighs does that work no that doesn't work so I would go here and here or would I go the opposite? Yeah, I like that better. Also makes it a lot easier to make these connections because now I can immediately use these extra pieces and just make that nice and secure. And the next parts will be a little bit more tricky. I don't know, it's kind of thin though. I've got these that could be used to thicken it up. I've got these. I could use the the wedge plates again. We'll see. Looks like I only have one of these. That's too bad. And what could these be used for? I have a feeling this will be useful up here or on the back. I have one each of these. They're different colors, but they're the same part. those up here then I could attach some some extra gadgets to the sides all right so I right now I really need to figure out the knees it's already able to stand but I need to figure out how I'm gonna connect the knees and I would like to use those I would like to use the, the wheels but I'm not confident in them just yet Let's see, that's here. I need to change the direction somehow. That's in and out. I really like to have knees that can, you know, swing back and forth. So I wonder if I might even want to put the ball joints in the knees instead of the thighs and then just have the upper legs go straight you know forward and back because there really aren't that many options that i'm seeing right now uh, what about this what about that it's gonna go side to side Could give me no it's not gonna really I mean it can give me a point of rotation or an axis of rotation that lines up with what I want it's not gonna be pretty but it could be functional functional enough and then maybe I can make it look a little bit better later on let me just try that for now see how it works use these parts to shore it up because that is going to be a potential weak point. See if that even makes it look thicker. Yeah. For now. Does this limit my range of motion though? If I put it there? Yeah, I think it does. So perhaps do I want the knee to be... Yeah, I definitely want the knee to be the front. At the front I'm thinking do I want the knee to be there or do I want the knee to be behind the clip joint? It just determines where I put this piece here so I'm just gonna put this on the back for now I can always change it later but I think that's I don't know, it looks
looks it looks better like that all right I'm gonna go with that for starters and like I said I, I can change it later but for right now that just looks so much better to me so I'm gonna do it and do I actually want to use this one instead that could be interesting hmm that might fix a couple problems for me No, I don't think it has enough room. I do want to use legal building techniques for this as much as possible. So for now, I'll just stick with this. And it's going to go back. Like so. It'll be out. That'll rotate in. Yeah, like that. Okay, so then I'll just duplicate that on the other side. And there's this. that. All right, and I need to attach things here. Let me make a quick change to a camera setting. Okay, everything should look the same. Now, to attach to that, I might just use up one of these. Or should I put that at the base? What other options do I have? I got these. I got the headlight bricks. Those aren't bad. Hmm. Yeah. Headlight brick allows me to attach still another studded surface underneath. And then I might be able to widen that out. And then I can rotate this around. So I might not have angles on this. But I should still be able to get the stability that I want. See, that's double so I'm just thinking of how I would ideally increase the height of this. I think I just put one of these down and then maybe one of these. So that's making some progress and then I can squish this up just a little bit. That's interesting to me. I could also go this way. I could also reverse that around but then on the other side Maybe that's even a better look. And then if I put another plate between these two, it's not going to change the stiffness, but it will turn that into a... Oh, wait. Um, no, I don't know the... I'm not familiar with that one. I'm just, I'm just thinking of, of how, I, how I'll end up attaching other things there. Like, let me go with this. That, that's an interesting, interesting thing to me, an interesting way of proceeding here. So you go in, I need to roll that back just a little bit. Leave room for the stud underneath, which is this guy. And I'll just do the exact same thing just to get it back to the point where it's able to stand with one of these. I might use these eyes, you know, to actually put a face on the, the mech part if I close it up in front of the, the face of the minifig. So now it's able to stand again. Definitely want some more thickness. I mean, I guess I could see those as being feet, potentially. I'm glad this is uh, tall. I was originally thinking that I was only going to have enough pieces to make something really small to just really fit just around the figure, but this is this is working out pretty well with the the size concerns. Um, I'm just I'm just looking around on on the table at the pieces and thinking if I can use any of those parts to give it some some ankle articulation. Um, some reasonable ankle art articulation. Oh, I do have two of these. Well, that's good. Maybe I end up using this. Hmm, okay, maybe I use this for my elbow joint. How I wanted to do this. 
you know? That's a maybe. Is this actually stiffer? Not really. It doesn't really connect better. The only problem with that is that it does tend to pop off, but for a build this limited, I, I would allow it. What other options do I have? It's too bad I only have two of these. Um, put that back right now. Sort these out again just a little bit. Maybe I should use the seat, maybe not. I'll come back to that. This is also something that can be used as a point of rotation. So I might be able to use that for, uh, for a wrist, is what I'm thinking. Really low on clip pieces though, that's rough. Hmm. So these are the only ones that I have left to do anything clip-wise with. That's too bad. So I'm thinking about what else I could do for arms. This is another option as well. Let's see. I have to create some distance there, but then if I put a piece in here, uh, which way would that go? I would make it double wide. could do that with the headlight piece there. No, no, I couldn't. Hmm. It would be nice to have that stability, but that does require that this gray brick be attached securely. And I don't know if I have the ability to pull that off. I don't have any bars or anything that can go straight through it to make it more stable. Hmm. Attach something from the back. I really want, I don't want the pieces to fall off too easily if possible. You know, at, at some point, durability may have to take a hit to get the shapes. That makes some sense, but I'm still just thinking about elbows right now. Elbows and, and wrists. I'm going to take this piece off just so that it stops talking to me. And there is the possibility that I could turn this upside down, so let's try that. Turning it this way, and then using this piece to give me the direction change. That could have a jumper attached to it to become my new, my new pivot point. I wonder how that feels compared to the 2x2 two two round jumper. About the same. Should be identical, really. And then there are also these. That's going to be a little bit tighter. A lot tighter. Lot, lot, lot. So that gets, that gets the durability back and is still poseable. It's just not as easy to pose, but I like how strong the joint is. So I may actually just commit to that for the moment. You go here, where was, oh yeah, this guy. Commit to that like this, just for now, yeah. See how that works out. I'm gonna go with this over here and this time it's here with this guy and one more of those. So those are elbows and I can always extend this down. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Make the upper arms just a little bit longer. I'll worry about, I'll worry about changing out colors later. And I can also put studs on the side pieces there instead to potentially add a little bit more detail around the upper arms. But that just gives me a little bit more length. This is going pretty well so far. Given the restrictions. All right, 
And to extend out, I wish I had two of these two by threes. I really wish I did, but I don't. So I will try the next best thing. Two by three wedge plate, you and you. And they can also be doubled, doubled up to give me even more thickness. And I could potentially spread that out. Oh, I like where this is going. Spread this out a bit. Uh, I could potentially do do an offset. I'm not going to though. You go there. You go there and potentially. Not even potentially. I'm just going to do it right now. I can worry about it later. Specifics, but for right now, I'm going to try that. That's just acting as a spacer. There, it's not even going to be attached. Will it fall out though? Looks like it won't fall out, hopefully. Oh, so this could actually clamp around there instead of using those two spacer pieces, but by doing it this way, it allows me to bring the, the forearm inward a bit more, and I could go even farther than that. Would be really nice to have some extras of these, but instead, I mean, maybe I'll end up clamping this yeah, I'm just going to do that right now. Why not? I'm going to use a couple of these just to help attach that piece because I don't like how it was hanging, hanging off. I want it to come off easily, so this is much better. The elbow is the elbow. You know, it's going to kind of have to live with itself, I think, but this makes me happier. Good, good. All right. And I'll use the white pieces this time. And eventually I'm going to use these trans green ones. But I'm glad that I have this, and I'm glad that I saved these for wrists or hands. And I think that using these wedge plates definitely makes a lot of sense up here because those look more like, like arms. Yeah, that's a good, good improvement. I still need to add to the legs, obviously, the lower legs, but that's getting there. Okay, that's good. And then what would I actually do for the hands? I mean, I've come this far, but what do I, what do I actually do now? Because I don't have clip pieces to attach to that. Mm. You know, it's, it's really just these. But what, what would other options be? I mean, I guess I could have left this, but no, no matter what, the hinges, the clips are used down here. I kind of want to reserve this. Hmm. Well, that gets rough. Really, really limited here. What if the hands used something like this instead? Yeah, let me try that. I would not have considered using these as the kind of palms, the bases of the hands. Put this uh, down at the lower point, like that. See? Uh, maybe I could actually put that at the top. Let me just let me put it at the top. We'll just swap the studs there. So this is able to rotate, and then I can put kind of suggestions of fingers. Maybe even the fingers could be these. I don't think they'll actually touch, but you know that's that's a tool. That's like a grabber there. But with that sort of setup, I could also attach plates onto them. So maybe I'll just try that over here, see how that looks. This one out. It's nice to liberate these. I can use them for my ankles, maybe. Uh, what's the this piece? That stick out. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Stuff like this, you know. See. 
potentially hold on to something like that. It's not the best connection, that's for sure, but when you think about it, you can get some, some pinching force in there. Not to actually grab something. Whoopsie. Hold it. Yeah, it's a maybe. Or other parts that could do a similar thing include these. They're still available. I don't really like the look of that. Maybe I could beef it up from the side. Yeah, it's not, it's not that bad. Kind of fake it a little bit. Trick the eye. Make it look a little bit more pincer-like. Yeah, that might work. I'd end up putting just a different tool over here instead of this stuff. Build up something instead. But I think I've, I've made some good progress there. I want to temporarily switch my attention back down to the legs. And since I have these available, well, I mean... Mm, I think these are going to end up having to be used here. Which is kind of what I expected in the first place, but now I don't know how I'm going to use them exactly. I'd have to use these guys in there. Oh, that's another thing that I could have done here. Oh, okay, maybe that's not so bad. Remember earlier I did suggest that I could use these on hands, but I was thinking of using them in a different way. But, see, it's a good place to, to rotate something. This is going to continue to happen. Uh, I, I may, in the end, be able to figure out a way to connect things just a little bit better up here, but no matter what, there are still going to be some some weak points in the in the upper arm and also at the elbow itself I'm, I'm just I just have to live with that I'm, I'm okay with that for now um, hmm which is more important because I really do need some clip pieces if I'm going to be using this this bar piece here to attach the front then I think I may need to reserve these these one by ones Uh oh, uh, that fell too far for me to, to reach, but for right now, just to show you what I'm thinking about, is to create a spot to attach a plate onto that. And potentially that could go around the other side, and then it would be like this. And I'd have two of those, and I can kind of go from there, build from there. out and just see see what ends up happening with that might lower this down a bit might extend it out forward a bit I think that's gonna be important yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this for now just consider those pieces reserved for that purpose and get back to the, the legs okay so I definitely want to beef them up I would like to use pieces like this if possible although those could also be used for the shoulders if I can use them to create attachments. I'm not sure if I have enough plates. I might. You know, I'll just strengthen up a part a little bit. I wonder what is the, the weakest point here? It seems to be that. So I might be able to use those to strengthen that particular joint since it does seem to, to be the weakest point right now. I wonder what I have that could work with that. Yeah, those two, the other two, this one. That's questionable. I really would like to use that though, but then I also have these. So potentially that, uh, that just looks too good for feet. Then again, okay, well maybe this will Maybe this will just give me more stability. I actually kind of like that idea. Let me try that. 
and I'll just try to make some some minimal height uh, little extensions underneath. I may not end up needing this piece now, so this may become effectively just a a plate for me to use. I don't want to use these up yet. I'm, I'm just looking for things to extend the space under here. I think I'm going to do this. For the moment, I'm going to do this, but I may recover these parts later. Yeah, so consider this temporary. Uh, ha. Interesting, that actually brings things inward. I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I don't know if I dislike that. I think I might be okay with that, although I may switch the, the stud pieces outward, but with as much weight as this has up top now, it really needs more, more friction there. That's not good. It's not good. I don't know. It was working at first, but as I added more bulk up above, it kind of fell apart. It's it's still workable. I can still balance it. You know, I I can I can leave those pieces there. Let's see if I can put it into like a a moving motion pose without it falling over. Yeah, it can it can be posed still. It's just not as strong as I would like. There's not as as much friction in there as I would like front to back. But with the the length, that's what's really helping here is the length of the the legs, or excuse me, the length of the feet, that's really helping the stability. So this may actually work. It may work yet. All right. Uh, next. I think that's actually a pretty good connection in there too. Hmm. I would like something to to be attached off the side, if possible. Well, that wasn't even clipped on all the way. Now it should be a little bit better. Which way does this go? Oh, okay, so I just realized that the the hand piece, the Exoforce hand piece, is impacting, or at least it was impacting, once I had this angled in. So there's a limitation right there for how far that can that can rotate forward. Just something that, that needs to be considered. But it does still work, I think. So I have a little bit of room for sliding these side to side, depending upon how I need to pose or how I want to pose. Yeah, I think it's not that bad, actually. Move that in just a little bit. And then it's just a question of whether I want to move the, the legs out. So I think I actually will, right now, swap these side to side. Let the curvature be on the outside. So this joint can be farther in, farther away from that. And it just helps a few things at once. It still looks decent. Yeah, it's not bad. It's working. Okay. Yeah, this is this is coming together. I've not been really taking a moment to to lean back a foot or so and just look at the overall shape of it. You know. It looks like a mech. <laughs> More like a mech than I, than I thought I'd be able to pull off with these limited pieces. All right, I would I believe I would like to turn my attention back towards the body and the upper part of the torso. Get some some better looking stuff going on there. I also need to figure this out. I guess I might as well try to figure that out now because that's pretty crucial. How that cockpit access hatch is going to work for me. So I need to 
take a step back, grab that piece that fell. Ugh. Just that one. Too bad there's no spare for that piece. They've got spares for this, this, and this. I think that's also a spare piece. That's a spare piece, you know? But not that. There's only two of those exactly. So, what if this was attached? I also kind of like the idea of this. And put the other plate behind it. That allows a little bit more room there. I could also lift up from the top rather than coming from underneath. I could lift up from the top. This is just kind of where I went with it to, to start with. Um, not sure which I prefer. Also, these pieces could attach to like a bracket instead. I could build up from there. Go out to the sides. Increase width that way. These will also attach into something like this, like so. Doesn't leave enough room for clips though. Because hmm. I don't want to show anti studs towards the front. That's just too too important to look at, I think. Let me see if I can get these into the mix here. Because I like how this is really, really optimized on the underside. I'll just take those wheels off from this particular piece for right now. You know, these axle holders, like the dedicated car chassis pieces, are designed to give you maximum ground clearance with small wheels and tires. So there's, there's a very limited amount of height here, and they give you that, that nice little depression of how they kind of inset the studs there. So that might be a good basis to attach these pieces. Still leaving some room, as much room as possible for the figure behind. It's just what I'm thinking. But, oh, see I wouldn't mind that look with uh, that underside design but after that what am I gonna do I've got I've got nothing that'll attach to these clips anymore other than wheels I mean maybe just wheels by themselves on there will help to close that up a bit um, yeah these won't fit all the way over that those are bar sized but only on the inside I would like to use these lightsaber hilts as well and there's one spare of those I'd like to use these but I'm just I'm just low on clip pieces. That is just gonna remain the thing that holds me back. This is also something that I can use to create a point of rotation if I want, but then what exactly would I attach to that? I'd probably be a stack of a couple of these. You know, that has to rotate around a, a stud. See, that's a, that's a potential joint of some sort. Not a very good one though. So that'd probably be, probably need to be used for something more decorative. You go over there and stay there. You go back there. Those are all tiles. Kind of like that. I wish there were some transparent pieces I could use here. Ooh, I kind of like this too. Oh, I like that. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like that almost too much. But I don't want to show the undersides. I really don't. All right, I need to make this happen somehow. And 
this will not be the way, but I'm just kind of thinking aloud. Thinking is allowed. It's too far away. How do I bring that in? Because I think. Yeah. Not quite enough room for those hands. Maybe if I just tried raising the figure up a little bit. So that his hands could go all the way in to clear inside. It's not it's not as good of a look, but it gives me all that extra clearance, which looks pretty important. I would really like to angle this back, which means that what I need to do is move this forward. I need to move the bar forward. So let's try that. Go ahead and use this valuable single two by three piece. Make sure that's nice and secure. I think you're still gonna stand above that. Um, or not, not necessarily. figure can still stand in back like so and this can come up much better now much closer but I'm, not, I'm still not conv convinced I really want to get this right up on them yeah yeah that, that has to happen <laughs> so it's boring but I could just use a plate there. Although, now that I look at it, I'm running low on plates, aren't I? Use these two. Front or behind. Looks like either one would work. Maybe in front is better. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I could, I could go either way with that. This fits up pretty closely, but it leaves this gap underneath. Could always fill in that gap with some other stuff. Yeah, let me try that. I'm going to try that. Put something else down here. Uh, now, I could put this guy in the seat. That still is a possibility. I kind of like the idea of, of having him stand. But, yeah, and if I put the seat in there, then I'm going to need to remove this, which is still definite possibility that was kind of intended to be temporary anyway but you know this seat won't fit in there because the, the back needs to go half a stud into the, the space behind it you know so I could jumper that out but then it needs to be raised up to the point where I don't think this assembly is going to fit over the top and then the whole thing would need to be raised up to still have the head poke above. Well, let's see. Yeah. Do I have any other options? I guess if I put the two, if I use the two by three, I could create more space. Then this person needs to sit up a little bit higher. It would be nice to use the seat, you know, because it exists, but. That's the that's the problem right now. It's the clearance. I don't like that problem. Yeah, it's not a good problem to have. I'm gonna stick with the standing form for now. It also allows me to get things in closer like this. And I'll go ahead and 
grab a couple of these because I can. Allow me to fill in some space and potentially attach some sort of detail on the side. You see? Fills up that space there and then I can put something there. Oh yeah, like, like that. For, for the sake of shape. Or if his hands are able to go in all the way, then I could really cover up that, that space even better. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's better. Definitely better. And potentially, this could even go over the front, eh? Ha-ha! <laughs> Going to grab a couple of my spares. Spare pieces, because this is not going to be visible behind there. And use those in that spot. Yes! I like that, I like that, I like that. Good, good, good. I still haven't figured out like a head design or anything, but that's okay. Making progress, making progress. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm starting to see fingerprints. I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'm back. Uh, I don't have particularly oily skin. As a matter of fact, I kind of tend a little bit towards the, the dry side, especially since it's winter time. But this set had tires in it, and I handled those tires, and tires are always oily from LEGO, unfortunately. At least the, the real rubber tires are. And this set had tires in it, so all the, all the pieces that were in the same bag with the tires have a little bit of oil on them as well, and eventually that transfers. I think it sticks to your skin a little bit more easily than it sticks to fingers, and then you transfer it back to pieces. So just every once in a while, when when building especially things that have rubber pieces i need to wash my hands to avoid everything getting covered with little fingerprints that become very obvious in today's modern full hd world once upon a time <laughs> nobody would see that stuff you could look at actors on your television you'd never know that they have skin pores at all nowadays you can count them <laughs> it's pretty crazy but yeah, just little things on the side. Yep, I like the proportions. Look at that. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> Too bad I can't actually pose it like that, or can I? I don't think I can. I, I don't think there's enough friction in the system for that, specifically on this joint. If I uh, balance it, put a little bit more weight. Ah! <laughs> it can work. It's, I mean, I, I don't want to you know, vibrate the table too much, but it is possible. <laughs> That's kind of the, the Yoshi walk kind of pose. <laughs> That's cool. All right. I keep worrying about that, but it's about the, you know, how, how low the friction is there, but it's, it's actually workable and I can just move the, the thighs forward a little bit and there are plenty of places where it'll actually hold itself together all right so next what do I want to think about uh, the top the head the head and the back really are the major areas and I do want to have something connecting across there I still have these pieces uh, maybe I could put like yeah, I think that's going to have to happen now. <laughs> put, uh, put a little shaping at the ends of those. This way or this way? I think this way. Yep. Done did it now. So that's going to happen? Cool. I like that actually. But I still need to have some sort of connection going across here. Um, I guess it could just be connected from the back. What else do I have that could go across there? I'm take these pieces off temporarily. 
and think about that a bit. Obviously it's easy to fill up this space here, and I still have, those aren't going to work, but I have at least these two pairs, but then I have these as well. Uh, and I have the white parts too! So I could potentially use these to create a clamp going all the way up. That's not too bad right there, how it, how it affects the shape as viewed from the front, but the depth, I don't have much in the way of one buys. So those could go across there. And then these could go part way. Maybe I could find a way to use a pair of these. I'm just thinking of how I can recreate the back. I'm just going to take these off for the moment. How I can rebuild the back to be not as, as thick. So taking these off and switching to a one stud thick sub-assembly there. Don't have much in the way of substitutes that I can place there. So this can go across, you know. Um, how about that? Still want to have another attachment point here, though. And I don't have enough spare. Well, I guess I could use these to build up the space if, if I did this. So if I turned this around like so, just to get that one stud thickness, I could use one of these and one of these one by one plates to fill up that space. You know, as a, as a cheat. But then, what is the height that I need here? I don't think that I don't think that's gonna work at all. Now it looks like that's off by just one single. Wait a minute. Does it not work? I say it looks like it's off by a single plate. If it is, yes. Ha! Yes. And that brings it all together and it clamps it together. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. And I do have this one piece left over that can now really make it a much more secure build. Awesome. Duplicate this. And still leaves me with those one by two plates over here to spare. So this all becomes nice and strong. On the back, oops. And that uh, fit like this. Still does. I put the arms back on. You and you. And those are at the same height. Now, if there was any way I could go across those pieces, I don't know, maybe these one by threes will do the trick. Give me a little bit of extra clamping force on top of these shoulder joints to help help hold them in place. I think so. I definitely think so. And I like the shape of this. I would like to use it. But that might get in the way of my little... Uh, yeah. I think, I think that has to happen. I like the shape of that. Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? I still want to get these on here, but 
Um, don't have the pieces that I would like. Yeah, I don't. I've got the, the jumpers that's going to make it stick out even farther. I think I, I, I might just have to do this. I can live with that. I can live with the, the anti-studs facing forward. Does this guy need... If I had the 2x2... Two two. Nah, I might have to just live with that. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll live with the anti-studs sticking out. Okay, so this is just going to go roughly... Roughly around here. So not that high up, but probably probably there. Put a jumper right there. And just place that wherever wherever fits best. It's a little bit off, so I'll just go with the, the tube. Mm-hmm. That works. And that's just a decorative item, so I'm really not worried about that being too strong, or being too weak, really. So I'll just mirror that. Goes right underneath the, the tube. I could even kind of limit it in the center if I had just, yeah, I do have one, but it's not a, it's not a round one, so I guess I could Substitute out a a round one by one plate from somewhere else to stick it right there, and then I could stick this onto that if I wanted. But I could also do other things. So I could still use these for other other purposes. We'll see. I can also swap these around if I want. Turn them around backwards. I might not. But for right now, this is a pretty good look, I think. And Durability is not terrible. Shoulders are not pulling themselves apart. Looks like these joints have actually worn in a bit. The upper arms, yeah, this is moving a little bit more smoothly, so the upper arms aren't moving as much. Is there anything that I could do down here for the legs to make them a little bit beefier? Look at this thing. getting somewhere I still would like to use these parts if I can somewhere sorry potentially tie these to no I don't have that one by three anymore oh well Just to, to tie these pieces together better. Where was it? Because they are kind of weak right now just for, for handling the thing. Yeah, I think it's those. So let's see if this is a possibility to create an additional clamp. wider apart, but at least they're attached much better now. Kind of preferred them more vertical, but they're attached much better, so that's a good thing. Um, let's see. So these are not an option to substitute down below. What am I looking at for a height here? So if I did not have these black pieces going through, then I could attach these sideways. I have a couple more one by one, one by two plates also that could be used to connect those. There really isn't a, a durability issue here. 
So I guess I shouldn't worry about that too much, but I don't have more one by one plates except for this one spare. Um, yeah, I've just got them. Well, I guess these can be used as one as substitutes for one by one plates. I don't have any real need or any real use for those now since you know, I don't have any more clips to attach things to them. I guess I could do this. No, nope. uh, yeah, I could. I could. I could. Just random usage of additional parts because they exist, you know. I suggested that early on anyway, so just following up with it. It's another possibility for how this round piece could be used, but I don't think I will do that. I think I will Connect the arch, and then this can be placed there. Other things can be attached to that, potentially. Like this. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit more complete looking, I think. Maybe build something on top of this as well. What else did I have? using one by one. So I had the medium azure inside of there. Got the one by two, or two by twos used down below. I could definitely add more height, but I don't need to. Oh, it's really easy to, to add height at the waist too, but kind of like the proportions right now. It's, it's easy to get into the idea of just trying to put as many pieces in it as possible. And that that's, you know, another way to kind of take the challenge, but I'm, I'm not going to go that route here. I do want to cover up those hollow studs at the top. That's better. And then the fronts could have anything. I would like to use these someplace, someplace good. I don't know. Oh, maybe if that could stick up. Helps to, yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with that. Helps to kind of fill in that space so it looks a little bit more, a little more sturdy, a little bit more complete. Yeah, that helps. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And then I still have a couple of, actually, three of those. I have these as well. Looks like I'm not going to put a face on this. I could put the eye pieces here and here, but I'm not going to. I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to choose choose which I want to put in which space. I could put these on as kind of shoulder pads. Now those could stick down or they could stick up. I like the, the extra thickness there, but eh, just keep it down. I think that's a, I think that's a good choice. And yeah, just, here we go. Yeah, there we go. That's. That's the solution that I needed right there. Put those there and then these one by one tiles just go in these spots. That's what I was just thinking about. Sorry, sometimes I'm just thinking and I don't like to share useless thoughts. So sometimes if I know that what I'm thinking is, is not going to be valuable to the end result, then uh, I just won't say it. But I know for purposes of a video like this, it's important to actually share the thoughts, even when they are throwaway thoughts and bad thoughts, like useless thoughts. It's all useful. It's all part of the process. I'm trying. I'm trying. So much better. Wow. That's so much better. Covering up those two spots there and then the little bit that I did down here. I'm so much happier with this now. You have no idea how much that changed my outlook on this entire project just now. Ah. 
good. Okay. Uh, now, I still would like to use these pieces <laughs> somewhere. Still thinking about that. But with those changes, those last little bits, I feel so much happier about this. It would be cool to use this. I could always put this on the top. <laughs> you know. Not sure if I will. This is just an option. Something to think about. Keep on the table. Still have these levers. They can be placed at the edges. They can still be used on the hands. Uh, this could have been used where else? Because, mm. I mean, potentially, you know, this is a 2x2. A two two. Basically, this is the same thing as this, if you're only going to use the, the front row of it. This can be used as a structural component. I'm just looking for opportunities to put that in there, because it is a really cool, interesting shape. And most of my opportunities would have been on the front and the center here. It doesn't look... doesn't look viable to me. Nah. Nah, I might have to just ignore that. This is... this is almost done right now. Because I'm, I'm that happy with it. So I could put these two, uh, these have to be used. Now I could use them as pads inside of the hands. Or, it's cool that I still have these parts too. I could potentially replace those with something else. I could use the, these as pads inside of the hands, or inside of the palms. You know, like kind of that kind of thing. Just imagine it much bigger. Or I could just place them up here as decorative items. I could place them inboard a little bit farther there I could even put them at the tips don't like that put them right there in the center don't particularly like that let me see about swapping this around too to face uh, out yep I like that better makes it look a little bit more pointed Mm -hmm. And I do have those wheels, those could stick out, used on the axle parts. Yeah, I think this stuff is just not going to not gonna be used. I've got a 1x3 space in there if I had, so right now I'm looking at the, the blue jumpers back there. If I could create a bridge across those, but there aren't really good opportunities for that unless I steal one of these these blue pieces, the exact same piece, one by three to, to go across that. And then I could fill in some of that space. But I think I want to keep those because they make for pretty good fingers as viewed, especially from this side. So what to do with this one? I guess I could just use this. This maybe end up maybe what I end up using. Um, hey, those are. I always forget that that's smaller than that. Uh, this could be put through, and then no, I don't have anything else that would fit around it. Yeah, might just be like a more of a fine a fine manipulation version of a hand over there. What other options do I have to put things? Oh, this could be even more distinct. I'm talking about fine manipulation. Turn this. Oh, but that, yeah, that's not going to be able to rotate in there. That's, that's, that's its problem. It's not going to be able to rotate. And I really want to be able to rotate. I need that extra room. This was up above. Get out there again. Not the lower spot, but the upper spot. And there is one of the one-by-ones that I could potentially uh, swap out to use that 
if I wanted to have a a round one by one I could steal one from behind there and use this instead I mean it's only just being used as a spacer but I think that it's it's useful to just help keep things together right now um, I'm, just getting, I'm getting so close I'm just kind of on the the home stretch and looking for final things that I can do to make that hand look better this hand look better than just putting these these lever pieces on it but I think that might be just what I need to do just go with it it's not bad no nah, it's not bad okay All right, well, let me figure out where I'm gonna put these two. Um, <laughs> use them to represent rotating joints. Too bad they can't fit here. But if I put uh, one by twos in place of the yellow two by two corner plates, then I could fit this in. It would just barely fit. I don't know if that's technically legal. I think the stud goes in more than half the thickness. It should be exactly half, but it looks like it goes a little bit more. It's, it's a possibility, but I'd rather use them down here, to be honest. If only there was space to do so. Is there? Move this out of the way a little bit. Is that doable? I like how this kind of limits the range of motion to acts as a stopper. Uh, is it still able? Yeah, I think. Mm, it's not really a legal connection. It's not connected by enough. Well. Maybe I don't need as much as I was trying to take. Don't need as much of the gray part. See, now I feel like I want to rotate the whole thing around, just swap the whole knee joint back the way it was the first time I attached things, basically mirrored, leave the, leave the lower legs as they, as they are presently but swap the, the knees. However, that would push them out. Yeah, I like the proportion, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. And I liked how this was working. Yeah, that's, there's just not enough of that, that gray piece there, that minifig utensil piece of the tool to give me room to attach this properly in there. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna abandon that idea for the moment, or I think permanently, I'll just abandon that, leave it alone. And uh, this will be put here, because it needs to go somewhere. And then these will end up going Yeah, they'll go there. That works for me. Was there anything else that, I mean, I still wanted, still want this to stand up, that's for sure. Felt like I lost a little bit just there. Maybe the, just these pieces are getting a little bit more loose since they've been used a bit, but I felt like I lost a little bit of the, the balance and the, the stability. But uh, yeah, I, wanted, I still wanted to use these if I could, but it's really not that important to me. I could still put them, you know, I could still put them underneath. Uh, could attach them to the, uh, if I still had those bracket pieces, I, I, I could use the bracket piece, not to good effect though. It'd be attached to the undersides and that's not very good. 
That's not a very good attachment. <laughs> Put it onto the back. I think I'm just about there. I think I'm just about done. I'm put a helmet on this dude. It's, it's unfortunate that he's a little bit, a little bit stuck in there now. You know, I have to remove the pieces at the front if I want to get him out, but that's okay. He does have to lean forward a little bit. Oh no! When he leans forward, there's not enough room underneath his uh, his chinny chin chin. So to solve that, I'll just put him on top of one more one by two. So he has to stand up just a little bit higher, but I think there's still going to be enough clearance underneath here. Fingers crossed, just enough. Yep, that works. His head's turned a little bit. That's okay. There we go. Yes. Yep, 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 <laughs> that is done, I'm calling it, I'm just calling it, because I could sit here for another half an hour tweaking little things, but I think I shouldn't, I think this was a success, let me move this stuff out of the way, and that is my mech that you told me to build. I'm so much happier with this than I thought I would be, and it's so much bigger than I thought I'd be able to make it with the pieces from this set. And I'm so glad that I didn't worry about color very much while putting this together. I worried about color way less than I ever do. Uh, that was just, just really good brain exercise for me, be able to break out of uh, just a pattern, you know, and just something that, that's, uh, that's always with me as I build. I think this is actually pretty cool looking. I appreciate the fact that it'll actually stand up. I appreciate the fact that it is decently durable, it doesn't fall apart. You know, the, the knees are obviously the, the weak points on it, but it doesn't look half bad. It does have some decorative elements to it. The figure is able to, to stand in there at about a level that I like. The curvature here kind of gives a suggestion that there's a canopy. You can almost imagine that there's a, you know, a glass or a plexiglass enclosure in front of him. And I believe I can still put this into a walking pose. I'll go the, the opposite way this time. Just with the, the other, uh, what am I doing? This way. You know, those back pieces are still not the most durable, but I wanted to to get that. See if I can make that work again. It needs to be at the correct level though. Just leaning forward. Like I said I did feel like I lost a little bit of the, the friction, but somewhere in there. As long as most of the weight is on the forward leg, that's the that's the key thing. <laughs> Seven. There we go. It almost wants. It almost wants to slip, but I am able to get it to actually pose to make it look like it's look like it's walking. So that's something. That's a thing. The most important thing, though, was was the process, of course. And uh, looking forward to your feedback, both positive and negative, about this video here. How this how this went together. The length of the video, I mean, it's it's real time, so you know, there's it's, it's either going to be real time with my narration, or it's going to be after the fact, sped up, and then just not have as as much of the information, not have as much of the the raw information, you know, of, of me just sharing my thoughts as I went along. It'd be more of a a summary of here's how it looks and. You know, this is what it looks like in the end, and here are a couple of the decisions I made along the way, but you would miss a lot. So this is this is really what I wanted to do for this tell me what to build thing. You know, showing the entire process and and just uh, letting you hear what I'm thinking and see what I actually do, see how how long it actually takes me to build something from scratch, 
and uh, yeah that's that so looking forward to your feedback this is all about doing stuff for all of y'all so I uh, care much more about what you think than what I think thanks for watching I look forward to hearing from you again and hopefully we'll be able to do this whole thing again from scratch bye for now